We're going to take a quick look at a couple of recent features added to the store dashboard for PSDHCP server. This version of the dashboard that we're looking at today is version 019. The two features we're going to look at are the support for retrieving host reservations from the Kia servers uh, or from a separate SQL database, if that's where the host reservation is stored, and the ability to do a lease query to look up and find out the current status of the host reservation. Uh, just quickly here on the dashboard, we see first uh, the most heavily used pools for both DHCP v4 and v6. Listed at the top on the right, some events that have happened to the different machines that are under monitoring. And at the bottom, we see a list of all the hosts being monitored with the applications that the stork agent has discovered on those hosts. I notice that there are multiple different versions of Kia being monitored here. All versions of Kia since 163 have some support for Stork. Um, you can see which daemon is running. We don't have currently any machines running the DDNS daemon in this demo, uh, but we have DHCP v4 and v6. Uh, they're all running. Um, there is no traffic being generated currently, so there isn't uh, anything very interesting to see in the responses for second uh, uh, columns. Um, the high availability state is reported here and we have a pair in uh, hot standby mode, uh, high availability, hot standby mode. Um, you note uh, we have one subnet which is completely used and we do have uh, one decline so far. But let's go take a look at the host reservations which are found under the DHCP menu. So here we see a list of all of the host reservations on all of the machines being monitored currently. Um, in the display, you see, uh, first of all, which identifier is being used for the, uh, to identify clients for this host reservation. Uh, we support a number of identifiers. You see here, DUID, client ID, hardware address, flex ID, et cetera. And uh, of course the IP address, or prefix associated. I think we have one prefix in here. Here we go. An IPv6 prefix, uh, a host name, if there's one specified. Um, Kia supports host reservations, either uh, subnet associated or at the global level. And you can see we have one global host reservation reported here. And then uh, which applications are currently providing that host reservation. In the case of the HA pair that we're monitoring, they can both provide access to that host reservation. Uh, filtering, um, as in elsewhere in Stork, is excellent. You can look uh, based on an identifier uh, or an address. Uh, let's take a look at a host reservation for 192.051. Here we have uh, a host reservation. Now there's a short pause uh, while the application is polled to find out if there's a lease for this number. And there is no lease for that address, it's unused. So that's why it reports the status here is unused. Now let's take a look for another host reservation. And here we have another one. This is actually on the same machine. Now you see it reports that this, there's a conflict for this address. So we have a reservation for 192.021 for a, a client with a MAC address of 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F. However, let's take a look at who's actually got the lease for that address. There is one lease, a valid lease for that address. Whoops. And the client has a MAC address of 1F1E, 1F1E. So clearly this is not the client in the host reservation. So that's why there is a conflict. The last thing I want to show is the location of the host reservations. So here you can see under the in the last 
column under the app name, you can see what uh, application is offering that host reservation and their little tag here, config, refers to the fact that the host reservation is stored in the configuration for that server. But let's just take a look at the different uh, Kia applications that we have. This one here I know has got the hooks loaded for host command. So here's a list of all the hooks running on this particular application. Um, and it is linked with the host commands hook, which allows you to manage host reservations in a separate database. And you can see here uh, uh, that the host reservations are stored in a MySQL backend. So if we go and look at some of the host reservations that this machine knows about, we'll see over here in the last column that it's reported that the host reservations are retrieved via the host commands API. And that's because they're in this database backend. So there you have uh, the key new features in the uh, Stork recent releases, including support for monitoring host reservations and for lease query to determine the current state of a host reservation.